Hi, and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today in the kitchen, we are cooking jumbo lump crab cakes. I love seafood, you know that. I love crab meat, lobster, fish, shrimp, I love it all. So I'm gonna cook not just regular crab cakes, jumbo lump crab cakes, because I like a lot of crab in my crab cake. So I'm gonna get started, and when I get started, you know what I need you guys to do, that's right. Go hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Make sure that you get all of my videos when they come out. So, first thing we're gonna do, I've got a couple cups of jumbo lump crab. I have some lemon juice, lemon pepper, black pepper. I have some seasoned breadcrumbs, green onions, one egg, some butter, and two tablespoons of flour, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, let's put this crab meat in the bowl. Got about two cups of crab meat. We're gonna splash that with a shot of lemon juice. You know you put lemon juice in almost anything seafood. Um, I have my skillet over here heating up. So while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and put two tablespoons of butter in here. I'm heating up fast. Let me turn that down a little. We don't want to burn our butter. Okay. I have a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm going to put our breadcrumbs in there. I don't know if I'm going to need all of that. I have one egg. And then I have some green onions, but I'm not going to use all of them because I want to, you know, use a couple for decoration. You know, we are all about fast, tasty, and presentation. So presentation's got to be right. I've got to put those some green onions on it for presentation. Okay, so. And to season this, we're just going to use a little bit of black pepper. You don't need a lot of seasoning because the breadcrumbs are seasoning. My... Lemon pepper is not open, so let's open this. We'll put a little bit of lemon pepper in it, even though we have some lemon juice. All right, let's put a little bit of lemon pepper in here. Not a teaspoon. Okay, we're just gonna mix that up. Let me scramble up this egg a little bit over here. Then we're just gonna mix all of this up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to form my, I'm gonna put a, just a smidgen of this on my hands so that they don't stick to my hands. <laughs> okay, so, just going to form this into a little patty. Look at that. Lay that in the flour. When I get about four of them, then I'm gonna flip them over in the flour and then go ahead and put them in the skillet. These are gonna be so good, I can tell already. <laughs> Look at them. Yes. I could eat crab cakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So like I said, I love seafood. Did you guys see my um, the video with the crab and shrimp bake? Check out that video. Okay, so let's put the fire back on, I mean the butter back on the fire. Wash my hands a little bit. While those are, um, while that's heating up, grab me a handy dandy spatula because we're gonna cook them on one side, then we're gonna flip them, cook them on the other. But for right now, like I said, I wanted to put them in that flour. I'm gonna Flip them over so there's a little flour on the other side. That just helps hold them together just a little bit. And these, like I said, these are jumbo lumps. So those jumbo lumps are a little hard to hold together. All righty. Crab cakes. And while those are cooking, I'm going to make a couple more. I think I can probably get about two more out of this. I mean, they're not the smallest crab cakes. They're pretty thick. Nice size. 
I can get about two more out of this. Ooh, you can smell it already, those onions in there. That's what I'm smelling, yes. I love green onions. That's why I put some on the inside and then I'm gonna put some on the outside for garnish. I love green onions. I only gotta let it cook for like three minutes on each side. I don't need a lot. These are ready to flip. Yes, look at that. Mm. Look at that. Just let it cook for another two minutes on that side. Then I'll cook the rest of them. I did get two more out of here, so we'll have six. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter in there. Butter and crab go together good. Now, I could have put this with oil, but you know, butter and crab, you know, when you have crab legs, you do what? You dip it in the butter. So instead of dipping it in the butter, we have that butter flavor for our crab. So that's gonna really taste good. All right, so it's been two minutes on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead, take these out, put these on plate. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more butter so that I can go ahead and cook those other two. And while those are cooking, we're gonna taste these. So hang on for a second. So I put me I put them on the plate and I had made some roumoulade sauce earlier. So I put my roumoulade sauce and I told you I saved these extra for garnishing. And there you go. Crab cakes a la vine. Jumbo lump crab cakes a la vine. Okay. So I cooked the other two and here we go. I got six crab cakes. I've got me some good romalash sauce and I'm going to taste it. I can't wait, it just smells so good. Look at this. Chamaball lump, look at that, all the crab in there. It, you know, some people they have a lot of breading and eggs and a bunch of stuff and peppers and all of that. It don't take all of that. We had just a couple of ingredients, and this is going to be awesome just with those couple of ingredients. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The more crab, the better. It's a crab cake. These have a lot of crab in them. That's how a crab cake is supposed to be. Oh my goodness. My husband's gonna try and eat them. I'm gonna have to hurry up and get these before he gets to them. I know he loves crab cakes. I love my husband, but, ooh. Nah, these are big. I'm not gonna be able to eat all of these. You know, I'm gonna have to share with my husband. And guess what? On that note, I'm glad I was able to share with you guys today. And guess what I want you to do? Go out and share my video. Like it, comment, tell me what you want me to cook next. And guess what? I'll see you next time in the kitchen.